One of the buttons that you'll notice on the front right side of the panel is what's called the home button. It looks like a house. And when you press that button, it actually takes you to this screen here. This is what we call the Viewboard OS. It's a mini built-in computer. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is it's kind of like a non-example. I actually don't want you to go here. Uh, your district actually purchased built-in PCs. It's actually a full Windows PC on the side of the board here. We'll take a look at what that looks like here in a second. But I wanna show you how to switch to your built-in PC. So again, when you turn it on um, and you press that home button, you might get to this screen. If you get to this screen, uh, just know that you're in the wrong place and we wanna switch to your built-in PC. The way that you do that, there's a couple ways, is first, you'll see down here I have a PC icon. If I touch that, what it's gonna do is it's going to switch from the Viewboard OS and take me to the Windows side. Now I'm ready to sign in. And again, if I touch that home button, see it takes me back to the Viewboard OS. So again, remember, we don't do anything in here. We wanna use the built-in PC. So when you see this, just switch inputs by touching the PC icon. The other way that we can switch inputs is over here, you'll see that there's a settings button. So it's the fourth button over. It looks like a cog wheel. And when we press that, it opens up the input menu. So you'll see here, we're currently on the Viewboard OS, right? We're in the wrong place. We wanna switch to our PC. The way that I do this, touch PC once, that'll give me a preview of the input, and then I actually touch it again. So I want you to remember that. Touch it once to preview, touch it again, to actually switch input. So there's two ways to do this. Again, press the Windows PC button here, or touch the settings button, and then choose PC by touching it twice. Now, when you switch to your built-in PC, what we're gonna wanna do is be able to sign into it. So the way that this happens is you actually do a touch and swipe up, and then that will show your account allowing you to sign in. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to type in our password. Notice an on-screen keyboard popped up. This is gonna let me type in my password. If you have a physical keyboard uh, connected to the board, then you can actually type and use the keyboard as well. We'll talk about those differences here. So what we want you to do is go ahead, uh, switch to that built-in PC input, and I want you to sign in so that you see your Windows desktop Again, your background might be different than mine. You might have different icons, but I want you to get signed in and then we're gonna move on to the next section.